Hello, my name is Ivan Van Norman, and this is a quick overview of Sentinels of the Multiverse. Sentinels of the Multiverse by Greater Than Games is an extremely well-balanced and crafted card game that I think you'll both love to win and lose. In Sentinels of the Multiverse, you play a team of heroes battling against villains in the most unique and dangerous of environments. Extra characters and variable play styles include options where you can play the villain or build a villain team, help generate a huge amount of replay for this game. But before we get into the fray, we have to set up our battleground as well as pick our heroes. Then we can start our reboot of the 59th universe in which our heroes' stories take place. Step one, pick your hero. Now each hero has different health points and its own unique deck of cards designed with the strengths and weaknesses of its character. Now it's a good idea to pick your heroes as a team in order to create an unstoppable force that no villain would stand a chance against. But it's also good because there are support type heroes as well as damage dealers that work really well together. And if you're feeling really saucy, you can pick you and your friends heroes at random in order to simulate a mashup of super convenience, if you will. <laughs> and find yourself delighted by the unique abilities that each character has to offer. Now keep in mind that some characters have the same name as well as the same deck, but have different powers as shown on their character cards. Step two, pick a villain to fight and an environment where you're gonna throw down in. Now, just like heroes, villains have different hit points as well as different approaches to fighting. Some transform just when you think you've got them pinned down. And some will have minions that will do all the dirty work for them, just like a good comic book universe. There are so many different types of personalities and difficulty levels to pick from in this game. The difficulty levels are included inside of the rulebook with the sentient AI, Omnitron, and the classic supervillain, Baron Blade, being the easiest to tackle first. Now environments get their own deck of cards as well, and while they're meant to be neutral affecting both hero and villain alike, really they can be a huge hindrance on your seemingly straightforward path to victory. Now learning to manage and manipulate your environment is essential to a successful win strategy. Now that the stage is set, let's play! Draw four cards from your hero deck. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Now you may want to read your cards in order to prepare them for your turn, like a good superhero stretch before the kick-ass workout routine. But being the bad guys, the villain always throws the first punch. This is the beginning of the round. Simply follow the start of the turn instructions on your villain card, draw and resolve the first villain card from the deck, then follow any end of turn instructions on the villain cards. Now heroes retaliate starting clockwise from the villain, and you may take one of each action in this order. Play a card from your hand, use a power, and then draw a card. Now if you choose to forego the first two actions, play a card, use a power, you may draw an additional card. Now after each hero has gone, but before the villain starts the next round, play the environment deck in the same way that you did the villain deck. Activate any start of turn instructions, draw a card from the deck, then activate any end of turn instructions. This is the end of the round. Now you win when the villain is defeated, that is hit points equals zero, and you lose if all of the heroes defeated. Sounds simple? It is, but you will have to familiarize yourself with your hero's powers and choose how to best utilize them. Now the good news is, is that defeated heroes also have a chance to activate a support ability for heroes still in the thick of it as well. Now, communication with your teammates will help you tremendously. After all, you're not fighting alone. Although drawing from the deck is random and you can get caught in some sticky situations, your ability to use your cards wisely and synergize with your friends is what gives you the key to ridding the world of evil once and for all. And that's it for Sentinels of the Multiverse. If you chose to pick up this game, I hope I've managed to reduce your nose time, even if it's just a little bit. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch this game live on Game the Game on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry every Thursday, where we roll dice and play nice with our friends.